Hey guys, this is all stream that and we are back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program. And last time we went to Moon with Jeb and he is stuck there. Uh, we kind of crash landed. We may be able to get him back into orbit. But for now we're just going to leave him right where he's at on the surface of Moon. And we're going to try to get some satellites up today and see if we can transmit that science back here and if we can then we can get all that science and do some research so we have something better to bring him home in so let's get into the vehicle assembly building and we're going to do this with a probodobo dime so this is completely radio controlled. And what we want to do is we don't need a um we don't need a parachute on this at all. I think they will fit if we needed one. So yeah, if we wanted to bring it back home we could, but we don't need to. On top of these, what I normally do is I normally take a I normally take an antenna so what we want is we are looking for a long range so this right here is a long range backup communication system we can do either one of those and we also have a high gain antenna and they usually do short range relays but just to be safe we are going to go for the high gain antennas so right now we need to build out a little bit more of this before we can do anything. Let's grab this right here. This is a service bay. And I don't think we have the round. We do have the round ones. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw three round batteries in there. And that will give us... I'm not quite sure what that will give us here. Let's see, that will give us 600 electric charge, which is really good. So we'll close that, and what we will do... Actually, let's... 
let's go ahead, let's take this away, and we will do this. We will open the Moonlander. And the reason I want to open the Moonlander is because that has everything that we need. Yes. So if we load that, we can take... Take all of that off. Okay. Perfect. And okay, we've got that. We have our payload right there. Let's get that up there. those batteries off. Um, I want to take the legs off because we don't need those. And I want to move in if the mouse will let me. Let's go ahead and redo those with the batteries. Okay, then we can close that. Now we can grab these. We've got one there. Let's 
just launch it and we should be able to do everything that we do with a pilot but it's all remote control and we get a day launch today so let's turn the whoop, turn the SAS on and just like last time we want this one that's the middle one right there we had that down to 25 everything else we move up to 100 let's move this over here so we don't lose it and we will pin we don't have anything up here that we need to watch for the contracts we have 610 electric charge okay so let's go ahead and launch <coughs> So with this we're going to try to circularize as quickly as we can. Okay, and that's not too bad of an angle where we are at right now. Our time to apoapsis is not really changing. It's been at a minute 16 for quite a while. We are in range, still.
there is our orbit. So now that we are up, let's extend that and extend that. And we need to get to the moon. Let's see if we can add a maneuver here and see... Oh. See what we can get here. And that is an 18 second burn. That is not bad at all. Oh wow, and that, okay. We are not going to have to wait very long either. So, when our node in T reads 9 seconds, we're going to go ahead and start burning. And again, the reason we do that is because we want it to be as close to half as we can get it. Most efficient burn. Okay, that's actually going to work. I'm okay with that. So if we stop that one there and let's add another maneuver here. That's going to be a 10 second burn. Okay with that. So let's warp all the way over there. And we're going to have plenty of time to, or have plenty of, uh, plenty of fuel to do any type of adjustment that we need to and I think we're actually just going to go ahead and we're gonna burn right now We're just going to stop that right there. Okay, so that's still right there. Let's switch to Moonlander. 
And we're going to see... Okay, where are we? Okay, we are on the dark side. Um, oh, okay. So we may have to land something here in order for that to work. And I... I'm not okay um okay That's the flag, okay. Um... Well, okay. Let's... Go to the Space Center and we will, from here, go back up to our satellite. Okay, so I think what I want to do here... got an idea. So my idea is... To take that and see if we can... Okay, that's not what I want. We could do it from from there. Add a maneuver, so it should be this one. Yep. Let's see if we can do that. If we can do that, it's a three-second burn. If we can do that, I think we'll be fine. Okay, we're going to work there. And here we go. Okay. So let's speed up time just a little bit here. What we're wanting to do is we're wanting that to hopefully be in communication with that.
so it's about to go on the dark side and once it goes on the dark side then there will be no communication retro and see if we can do that okay So we are essentially just waiting right now. If if it works, it works. I don't know why that's not doing anything for me. It seems like that, well no, that is moving a little bit, okay. Basically, I think we need that on the bright side of the moon. So we're going to wait for a few minutes and I will bring you back when we find that this either works or does not work.
Okay, so it's positioned right up there. So if this does not work, then it does not work. Okay, nothing in range. Okay, so that means that we actually have to bring something down. Or, um, I don't think we have, I don't think we have nearly enough. Um, so yeah, we would have to bring something down and we could try We could try and bring that down as close to this as we can. Um, I just don't think it would work. I think it would be very, very risky to try. But we're gonna leave that up there because it's a good thing to have. So we're going to to uh, grab I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab another satellite just like that one but we're gonna use this right here. Um, we're, we're gonna use Basically what we did, we're not going to change anything other than take this off and put the Probodobodyne up top. And hopefully Jeb will then be able to get out and use that. So, let's go back to the Space Center. But that is going to end today's episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is AllStreamThat. Go ahead and follow me over on Twitch at AllStreamThat. I stream over there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday at 8 a.m. And we do stuff like Red Dead Redemption. We are doing American Truck Simulator. We're doing Red Dead Online. And we are also doing FIFA Manager and NBA My GM. So go ahead and follow me over there. Follow my Discord. Uh, the link is down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe on this video, and I will see you next time.